is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 236. NASDAQ up 87. S&P's up 24. You get some action out here, man. Quite a market, right? It's like, no, the economy's not adding jobs. It's like, we love it. We're going higher. Totally, man. <laughs> totally. Uh, gold contract. Gold contract up 420, trading at 1346. We got silver up 16 cents, 15 dollars six cents. Now silver's getting a uh, nice bid, and that's what we needed uh, for this metal market to key continue higher, folks. Uh, light sweet crude up 55 cents, trading 53 dollars 14 cents. Notes and bonds. They're the story again. Pretty amazing. Uh, you get the 10-year note up a half a point, 15 ticks, 127.13. Over the highs, has volume behind it. 30 year bond up a full point, six ticks, 154.23, and King Dollar. King Dollar down at 427 ticks, 96,570. King Dollar has volume again. This is the fifth day in a row that we get volume on the way down. Uh, that 94 is looking uh, more probable each and every day, folks. 94 is the lower end of the consolidation that we've been in since last October. Euro, the euro is at 113.22, the yen is at 108. And the pound is at 127. So let's get over and take a look at the S&Ps. So we take a look at the SPY. We got the SPY right now. You're up 248. Your swing points up here, the small swing points, the one I want to look at, 286.69. So you're over the 286.69. That's just this little. Now I have to ask why that's the swing point if the one right before it is a little bit higher. It is. No, that's the major swing point. No, I'm even talking about the day before it. Right there. Nope, before. Right it. Right there. Well, because just... we gap down there. Okay. So what happens on a gap? A gap, a gap is considered a swing point. That's what happens. So what had happened here is that what's that's on the 22nd. We closed at 285, and then the next day that we gapped down. See that gap there? So it was trying to fill the gap yesterday. I filled it, got over it. So when it gets over it, of course, then it's like, what is game? Is right there, all the way up uh, at 289. Um, you know, it's just because that, that's the major swing. Yeah, no, it's just, I, I, yeah. So let me look at the NDX 100. So the NDX has been the weakest. So that baby. One, yeah, this is cool. Okay, so that baby's right into the gap. Sa same day. You can see this 180.75 is that number into that gap right there. And then if, if you put this across, you're going to see that it's also into the downdraft from the, what's that, the 13th, right? So that's going to be kind of the benchmark. The top of that is 181.26. Because what I'm expecting out here today, and it's going to get interesting to see how this shakes out, that we're going to get this actually. C point of an ABC structure on the way down. Um, and, you know, this is a strong market, though. I mean, it, it took off uh, for Friday for a strong market. Yeah, rate kites are coming at us, and the market is even more certain today than it was yesterday. Yeah, yeah. so let's, let's look at the Fed fund futures. This is going to be, like, bizarre. So it got up to 76 now. I, think, I forgot what that was yesterday uh, for July. Uh, we should take a picture of this almost every day because this has been moving. Folks. Well, you can always check out the archives. I actually went back and looked at one of the archives. I think oh. it was Tuesday. And, yeah, oh, cool. That's, we actually archive all our programs. Oh, and, yeah. And you'll have this most screen right up that's there. Right. So if you want to check it out, there you go. So that's right. And in, in fact, we can do a chart on this, can't we? I think we can do a chart on well, this. Well, the, the, lines, the lines, this is your chart right here. Oh, cool. Okay. That's, you know, I mean, this tracks what. Uh, so we're at 96% September 18th. Yes. And we're at 76 July 31st. That's pretty wild, man. Yeah. That's a big number. Definitely. The 10-year, uh, 2.06. Yeah. How, isn't that crazy, man? Yeah. Can you type 10-year? Yeah, because it gets, exactly. It gets, oh, this one is, more, one this more. is cool here, here. watching it this way. Right. Because that's not calibrating the exact low for some reason. Maybe it's um, as in the low over on the right there. Yeah, I think it catches See, up now with it during two, the day. Yeah, right. Yeah. But low right. is actually 2.051. Look at that. Yeah. So, and if we take this, now I'll put this on a weekly, and <laughs> you're going to see that, okay, that 2.01. Yep. That's what it's gunning for. Sure. 
I mean, pretty crazy. We were just at 2.6, and now we're at 2.05. Yeah. Over half a point in like two months. Totally. And uh, now look at this. This is, this is a monthly chart we yeah. have here, folks, right? And this gets bizarre. That's 3.24. <laughs> yeah, crazy. That's um, three. If you look at where the market is from that point, though, it's pretty highly correlated in terms of, you know, that's literally uh, one of the lows in the market, right? The yeah. highs in the yield. And, yeah. um, and you can see, you, you know, you barrel them into this 2.01. And that, that to me says, okay, you might build some cars here, but what's game here is that 1.71. And it'll be interesting to see. I mean, there's only so many times you can say, you know, the argument against a weakening economy out there is that um, the average is still fine on a three-month basis. Yeah. You know, um, don't get so caught off by the one-off. There could have been um, floods that are holding back the economy. Passive, You're listening yeah, to, you right. know, um, the head of the Economic Council, yes. right, the president. Yeah. You know, there's, there's always going to be excuses, as in if it happens next month. That's, that's really, there's going to be more there's, and more there's pressure. No, there's no doubt. Um, because if it does happen next month, um, the Feds can almost feel like they have to react in the market. At what point does the market actually get scared that the Fed can't react and that the jobs that aren't coming are going to matter? That's right. Yeah. And, that, that's, and that would be a quick downdraft, folks, would straighten the Fed out in about a second. <laughs> that's, you what know, do you mean by that? So I don't know. The, when, what presses the Fed's hands, like this is not pressing the Fed's hands at all. I mean, the market's up. What presses the heads, Fed's hands is that you get some kind of report and the market's down four or 500. Then it's like, okay, we got to do something. You know, because this is creating wealth. You know, you, you, bottom line is the market's up. It's like, okay, the market's up. You know, and is the market up because they're, you know, they're saying that, okay, the rates are going to go down. Because that's what the market is saying. You know, yes. That's what the market's digging. There's Definitely. no doubt about that. Yeah. Gold. Go. We take a look at the gold contract out here. What we have inside the, the gold contract, and you're going to see that you know you're, you're pressing once again. And this is this is a great, a great education, folks, just to see how when you press with volume, even though you give it up on price, the bottom line, what I've seen over and over again, that comes back up there, presses again, and you can then you get it. You need volume again. That's the bottom line. But we're going to get it. You know, we had pressed higher on Tuesday, gave it up on price. That was at the 1348. It closed uh, down to 1320, uh, well, 1333, but gave it up in price pretty good. Now, with this morning, we already got 202,000 contracts. This will do 350. Three, yeah, this is, that's, a, that's a big contract volume for at uh, quarter past 10 in the morning. So, uh, we got game here. You know, this game is still uh, on for 1361. Silver, I think, is actually, this is, could be a decisive, eh, it's not, no, it's not, it's doing the same thing. I, I I'd like to see silver even get uh, heavier today, but silver will get the contract volume today. We're at 50,000. Uh, you're talking 132 for that high that was generated also on Tuesday, $15.04. We hit 1507. Uh, some, oh, did you see Beyond Meat? B -Y. I did. I talked about it in the update this right before the program. This is something else, folks. These, these, who's ever shot Beyond Meat is in trouble big time right now. I would now. guess they might not be short anymore. I hope not. <laughs> yeah. You know, you, you're talking about uh, an equity went to 135 this morning. Um, you got, I think it's a 38, yeah, 33% shot position. Yeah. One out of every three shares have to be brought back. Yep. Be amazing. Almost 4 million shares. Oof. Tense. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the uh, Dow Industrials uh, right now. Uh, nope. We almost have them. We're going to leave it. Must We're going to tease them for the break. Three minutes. We'll be back. Perfect. Come right back, folks. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, 
the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the Taz Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at Taz has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the Taz Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the Taz Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the Taz Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien have just announced a special webinar on June 19th for all subscribers to the Taz Profile Scanner. Steve and Tom will break down the trade matrix, market breadth, heat grid, as well as the three-step process you can use with the Taz Profile Scanner to identify market movers and how to capitalize on that move. For all the details and to get started with the Taz Profile Scanner today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. With a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. Go sign up today. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials are up 220. We get the NASDAQ up 986. S&Ps are up 24. And yeah, uh, you got to see this picture, folks, okay? I'm putting this picture, man, uh, on my bureau, man, because I'm telling you something. I haven't seen it. Oh, where do you see this thing? So yesterday you had the celebration. Well, I've seen of, it right here, right? Uh, <laughs> no, no, I just mean as you pulled it up, okay. but I haven't seen it before. So you've had the celebration of D-Day, right? Yeah, 75 years remarkable yeah. yesterday, yeah. And there's two paratroopers that jumped 75 years ago, and right now they're 94 years old and 96. I know, it's remarkable, It's so man. freaking cool, it's it unbelievable, is. man. Yeah. <laughs> so the, one of them said, yeah, the, now... We're going to get you a, a great picture of this, because it's a great picture in the Tampa okay. Bay Times so that's, today. That's Tom Rice, who okay. was a paratrooper. This one here, at least, yeah. uh, in World War II. Pretty, and we're looks, going to get you this picture. He looks like he's 60, man, not 97. It's, it's, yeah. a, it's in the front page of the uh, Tampa okay. Bay Times today. We'll dig through it in the next They break. got him up in the It's amazing, man. Oh, I bet. You can and see it. So Boom. the guy that, like, is 95, he says, yeah, man, I came in from a hard land. And a hard land, and, man, I'm telling you, what, what a, just, it's amazing. Yeah. It blew my mind, man. Pretty cool. Yeah, Could so you? they got a quote. No, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, I got a replacement left knee, and I got a right knee's a little sore, but we're going to ignore that. Right? said, I do this because I like to, and uh, it's an extended dimension of maybe my personality. There's no Just doubt. rocking man. out. Good That's, for him. That is pretty cool, man. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's, it's unbelievable. Pretty cool. Jumping out of a plane. Jumping out of a plane, period. I, I never, agree. I've never I'm, jumped out of a plane. I have also never jumped yeah, out of a plane. Right. I wouldn't. I might. <laughs> I don't know. After seeing that, uh, I love it, man. I've always I, thought. I, I, as to, as to going forward, uh, you know. My making, sister, your daughter, she jumped out of a plane. I know. She's got I us. know, man. So, <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> 877-927-6648. Oh, look at gold is going to... Oh, let's go to the dollar. So the, the dollar, you know, we finally got some volume in the dollar. You know, we, you, you get a downtrend trend happening. Uh, and it's the first time that, you know, since last October that you really have volume. Uh, this is the fifth day. You know, we got 18,000 contracts out here today. Now, it looks like we're going to... Yeah, this, is, this will do a small ABC down. You know, you're breaking the low from uh, Wednesday. Uh, that'll get you like, uh, let's see, that's 98, 195. Let's just say it's 98. Oh, okay, so it's, it's like two and a half points. 
which would get you to uh, 95, let's say about 95. Uh, is that 95? Uh, yeah, so your next level is, uh, that looks like uh, the t 20th of May. And uh, that's going to uh, basically put some juice behind uh, this uh, metal market. How about, can we go into the, I mean, I'm going to pull up Beyond Meat just to put the, oh, yeah. um, and this just is... over the, the true numbers. I didn't actually check out the numbers. I'm sure they're great. I just wanted to show even last night, right? Man, I mean, talk about, it goes from 100, we'll call it, yep. up to, what's the high there? 125 on the dot, not yep. bad. Um, and then it pulls back to like 114. Even from there, man, you're up 10% from where this thing settled at right. like last night right. after you know which is remarkable and that's 10% as in going from 114 to 127 you're up 13 bucks on like a 113 stock right yep. pretty close um, even more than that but man you you you're 9 bucks off the high so we traded from 114 I mean it's a rocket ship it um, is. and then you know the numbers weren't that big they expected to make uh, 205 million for the year they're going to make 210 um, they said they're going to double their capacity, though, um, you know, but guess what? It, it was enough to basically rock the stock, you know. Okay. Um, what captured investors' attention was the forecast that sales would exceed $210 million this year, beating the analyst estimate of about $205. Uh, um, to put that in perspective, revenue was $88 million last year. Um, yeah, we'll see. Now, here, want to see something? That they're almost priced per... for perfection oh, in there, right? Watch, I mean, that's watch, where it gets dicey. Watch this. Yeah. So, you get a market cap of uh, 7.5 billion now. Not bad. Right? It was 6 billion yesterday. Yes. Um, okay, so now they adjusted this to 215 million okay. for the year. Okay, yep. Right? So, just keep yeah, that. Yep. We're still going to be at a loss, okay. right? Okay. Now, watch this. Tyson, T-Y. <laughs> I'm just bringing another food company up. Sure. And you're going to see, so... And as you go into it, it's not even just another food company, right? They're the ones, they were partners. They sold their stake in Beyond. Oh, that's right. Right beforehand oh, to yeah. come out with their own brand. So it's going to be an even better. That. So go yeah, ahead. Yeah, this is crazy. So now. So now what's this? $30 billion company $30 billion. versus 7.5. And uh, how much are they taking in? <laughs> $43 billion, folks. $43 billion. They're going to make a billion and a half dollars. Six dollars, I think they got, let me see, I was how doing this number last night. What do they got? Um, shares, yeah, 300 million shares. 300 million shares. Six yeah. bucks, right? That's 1.8 billion. Yeah, 1.8. Yeah. They're going to make, make 1.8 billion. So you can see that number is skewed in a huge way. I would agree. Yeah. I heard, um, you, know. you know, that that run again, and I said, geez, you know, they were already almost priced for perfection. Um, Seven and a half billion dollars, I mean... We pulled up Signet Jewelers yesterday, right? Oh. They own K. They own all of it. That company in completion is worth about $950 million, right. right? You know, and they sell almost every single diamond jewelry in every mall they that you do. can think of. And somehow this Beyond Meat company that barely pulls in $200 million on a year yeah. um, and loses money. Yeah. Now, this is interesting, too. Okay, I perfect. Want, I um, wanted to see whether they had options, and they do have options. So... That's going to be, so let's see. I so, tell you what, can we jump over here? Because I like the yeah, Thinkorswim platform yeah, and uh, yeah. options. So yeah. we're going to go in. We're going to go into trade, right? Yeah. All right. So here are all our contracts. What, 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 how far we want to go out I here? I just go to, want to go to July. July. All yeah. right. Where are we? There's July. Yeah. What's nice is they, they comment the weeklies, right? And then you get the monthlies. These yes. are the big ones. So right away, what's awesome, expected move, man, right? Implied volatility. Thirty-five dollars. Yeah, you're not the wow. only one wondering about maybe making a trade for for, totally. for some uh, for some Isn't action, that right? Crazy. Because I was thinking the same thing um, in terms of there's got to be a pullback, right? Right. It's got to be well, a pullback. <laughs> I mean, uh, no. It, it, That's what all the people that have shot it, the stock yeah. are thinking. Yeah. So let's. Uh, okay. So how many strikes? We want to show much more than that. Let's show them all. We'll Look figure out where that. we want to be. Um, so we're trading right now at 126, 125 is the closest one. So if you're you want to buy a put. Right? You want to yeah. buy a put? Put it at, at the uh, money. I'm just curious. Right at the well, beginning. right. So at the money, you're, you're paying, I mean, basically, we're at 126. If you want to buy a put at 125, so you're $1 out of the money. 22 bucks. 20, uh, 23, 23.70. That's the, that's the bid. You're going to buy it. Okay, you're going to go on either you're, side. You're right, right, right. I'm just looking at that's That's the that's last, people, last trade is 22.70. Okay, cool, cool. Either, so yeah. you get the... Um, yeah, it's a lot of money. Yeah, it's a lot of money, it's man. a lot of money. So um, what happens is that, it, 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 what, it, something like that happens, folks, is that it first has to go down $22 for you to break even, and it has yeah. to go lower than that. Yeah, and even an extra buck eighty because you're out of the money by a buck eighty on this one. Yeah. So you're really talking about 24 bucks of movement you need. Um, you know, 100 almost becomes right. your price point of your break even. Now, now, we were just at let, 100, let's though. Do this. It's let's, possible. Let's, let's go out even further. Oh, you want to pay more premium? 
Uh, yeah, let's, 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 let's go to November. Uh, all right, yeah. November, $71 implied volatility. Oh, my God. Wow, let's let's like, look at on, it anyway. Right? Yeah. yeah, no, that's, that's all right. <laughs> no, no, it's... Uh, now, there you go. look at that number, folks. Oh, my God. And these do get skewed. I've looked at them before yeah. because... Um, when you're buying a put, you're capped out at zero, right? Right. Into your profits right. are capped out at zero. And when you start paying that amount of premium, $46, yeah, I mean, you better sick. hope that... So, so look at this, folks. Even for $42, you're going to pay $3.20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you probably, hopefully, you move that out. Maybe, you know, you're not actually looking for it to trade at $30 in there. Maybe you're just looking for a weak trader. I don't know. I don't know, because I wouldn't be trading those. Oh, yeah. no way. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Right back, folks. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrial is up 241. You get the Nasdaq up 101. S&P's uh, up 27. Uh, you get some uh, big numbers out here. There's uh, no doubt. Let's go uh, inside the Dow Industrials. So let's see. Percentage-wise, what we've done out here, you get the Nasdaq up 1.3 percent. Dow's up 9 tenths. S&P's are the same 9 tenths. Inside the Dow Industrials. You're up 240. The only ones that are negative at all are J.P. Morgan and Goldman slightly. 
Uh, Apple, Apple uh, putting 34 positive points. Visa 23, Microsoft 23, Boeing 22. Let's go to Apple. So, uh, Apple. Okay, so you, you've got 8 million shares. You get a pop, no doubt. Let's say you did 22 million. You're coming into 192. 192.77. That would be the number. 192.42. You'd like, I'd like, to, I mean, if you're going to go short that, I'd like to see it get, actually get over that today and then close underneath it. Um, Amazon, let's just take a look at some of these fangs. Amazon's up $41. Google's the one that's still having a hard time. Yeah, it's up $11. That thing is uh, definitely having a hard time. Netflix. Yeah, Netflix up six dollars, staying at the top of its what range. Disney, can you pull up? Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. Always interested as they become competitors in the same arena. Yeah. Yeah, up on Julie, but pretty decent. Yeah, and D Disney has a volume at that high. That high wants to get tested. One thirty-seven is the low, but one forty-two is the high. Maybe it'll come out there today. Might have um, been their earnings too, I think. They, that was their earnings that day? It, it might have been, yeah. Because yeah. I remember they got the huge first up thrust on their announcement of the platform. Yeah. And then they got kind of a further when they came out with their earnings. And uh, let's go into the NDX 100. We'll take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the uh, NDX. And we have Illumina up 5.7%, Mercado Libre up 3 Microsoft up 3 Apple up 2.7%. Uh, downside, there's not many. You get um, Western Digital off 1.3, the rest of them small numbers, 6 yep. tenths of 1%. Uh, Lexa Pharmaceutical, AMD was up 2.5% yesterday. I was going to say huge. Yeah, yeah exactly. So. Sirius Satellite. Uh, How about Bitcoin? Bitcoin's uh, positive again. I saw it right XTC. around 8,000. Okay. Um, yeah, we got it up 290 bucks, trading at 79.80. Going into the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, almost like Bitcoin's a weekend trader, man. Can we get even closer? Yeah. Uh, well, there's been there's been a lot of volatility during the week, man. To to be fair, uh, you know this week especially, right? That's why it was interesting to see it back at eight thousand because things got dicey on a couple of occasions. I mean, Wednesday we were down to seventy five hundred and change. Yesterday we were down to seventy five hundred and seventy five twenty seven. Yeah, seventy four seventy three. Um, so it's got to be nice to see that get back above 8,000. 500 bucks. Yeah, even if you Bing. want volatility in both just directions, like right? Unbelievable. Yeah. Pretty wild, man. Yeah. So the, uh, yeah, here's, here's, can you put that Oh, we got it? Is that yeah. the one? Well, no, that's not the one, but that's a good we one. We got more of them, sure. So, so look at this, folks. This is, this is a picture of 90, this guy's 97 years old. My God. There we go, so man. Per, this is amazing. Oh. Look at this. Look at the guy. Oh, I knew they were going to do it to uh, us. That's okay. We got it right there. Look Perfect. 97 years old, man. Yeah, pretty cool. Then, oh, I, th see the second one in? See that related picture? There? That's the one, I think. That's the one. Look at this. There we go. Perfect. That is, he's got an American flag tied to his shoe. Got to love it, man. <laughs> he's, the, Rock you and can roll. see the, the one guy's got the, the, the two cords, yep. right? Getting oh, it yeah, down. totally. Oh, my God. That's how I think they call it tandem, right? If anybody goes, yeah. Uh, I mean, that's how most people parachute. Um, that, as in, you know, if you go parachuting, yeah. you're going with a tandem. Yeah, um, right, right. Because you can pass out. I mean, that's that's uh, that's really the fear, I think. Or you just bang your head. And then here, let's. Go uh, ahead, where are you? No, yeah. Well, I guess we already showed them that one. Look at that. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. That is so cool. Makes me want to jump out of a plane. Yeah, I'm I'm putting that right in front of me every morning when I'm waking up, man. You got that's it. That's totally where it's at. Look at this S and P. Go S and P. Go. Because I'm going to be still on getting off this. Air. I'm going to be looking to sell this market before the close today. So let's see what we got here. Get up to the swing point. That would be really good. So the futures right now, the top of that is what, 29, 28.94. Boy, that would be quite a run. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, let's let me see. The what was it again? Sorry. <laughs> Just because it was yeah. 20, 29, 28.94. No, yeah. that's not crazy. That's 18 points. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Q's, let's go look at the Q's, NQ, I think we're still on the M's, because I think the Q's are the way to go here. Yeah, they're still the weakest. They're up to 127 right now, but they just haven't done yeah, quite a way now from if they make it swing. to that swing, yeah, 76.41, yeah. oh boy. That's 230 <laughs> points away. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, we'll see where this shakes out, man. The, the small caps might just have to wait to Monday. We'll see. Yeah. The small caps are interesting. Now, the, the, these are right into the gap, which is 152. Yesterday, no, Wednesday it hit 150, 88. Oh, look at that. You're 158.88 right now. So we're just testing the highs of uh, Wednesday right now, the exact number, actually. Yeah. Um, pretty wild. Hey, so how about those Bruins last night? Oh, a little sports update to our was, Boston fans. That was an amazing game. I think we got hosed, man. It was I, an amazing game. For anybody that didn't see it, uh, Bruins lost by a goal, 2-1. Right. to one. Um, but man, one of the goals got the Blues had. No, yeah, totally. Bruins player gets tripped. No penalty is called. Um, and the blue score basically right. immediately. Right. Yeah. Right. It's you know it's amazing. It's amazing how great those guys are, folks. Oh. It's just unbelievable. And it, it was a great game. It's, it, it's been a great series. Hopefully yeah. the bees step it up. They got a oh, tough they, task now. They got to go back to St. Louis, Louis for Game Six, down yeah. three two, and then hopefully they can bring it back to Boston for Game Seven. Is that how it's going to go? One, that's one, how one? it goes, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's intense. That's it. Bruins had the edge there where they had best of three and they had two home games. So they really lost the uh, big edge by losing at home last night because then they have to go to St. Louis for game six. Right. Um, which which is tough, could right? wrap it up. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. No doubt. Pretty intense, man. Yeah. You know, it's amazing. As the, like, I know hockey's got better and better over the course of time, but it still blows my mind how they can redirect pucks. They... they, they they must slow everything down. They oh, just yeah. take that stick. Hand-eye like, coordination, man, right? I mean, watch out. I know. It's like, amazing. You're talking about... And the hitting last night was insane. Yeah. Hey, you got a you got a Stanley Cup uh, at play there, man. You God. better watch out. And, and Chara, right, with a broken jaw in there. Um, Is that what he... I was wondering. I heard yeah. them talking about it. So the previous it. game, he took a puck to the face. Um, oh. Yeah, and it basically it wasn't a straight slap shot. It went off a stick, but right, you know, basically off a stick, right up into your face. Um, blood right away. Hockey man, watch oh. out. Um, so he sat on the bench. He didn't. He couldn't play for almost two full periods of the previous game. Okay. Um, and they weren't sure about tonight, and they brought him back, and he was pretty good for a broken oh, yeah. jaw. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I saw something ahead of the game, so we come into the commercial though. Uh, so they all take questions, right? Yeah. And Chara can't really talk because his jaw is like broken and yeah. wired and so it's like you know the the pun was most hockey thing ever is he's up there and he's got to answer questions by writing it because he can't even talk his jaw's broken but he's going to be playing man he's playing last night i'm sure he'll be playing for game that's, six too that's awesome it is man that he's is a beast awesome. stay right there folks tommy and i are coming right back Dow Dow industrial's up 266 nasdaq up 114 s&p's up 30 come right back If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com. 
educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 287. NASDAQ is up 122. S&Ps are up 32. And we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up, folks. He's going to be uh, riding the wave, looking at the tide, doing a great workshop for everyone. That's right. Coming up Wednesday, man, June 12th. He'll be in there right following your program, 5 p.m. Eastern time until 6.30. Basil always does great workshops, man. He'll be ready 90 minutes in there with his subscribers called The Tide. He'll be talking about whether that tide's coming in, going out, as in bullish, bearish, looking at a variety of time frames. He's going to talk about indices, currencies, commodities, interest rates, key of what happened in today, yeah. um, and currencies. And... Um, the things he's going to be talking about, pretty standard tools available on all software packages Basil talks about. He's going to be talking about looking at what he's looking at historically and then looking at current markets right now, right. what's going on. Um, so it should be great. All subscribers also gain access. He's got three archive workshops up there, each of those 90 minutes as well. So you can get started over the weekend. you got some time to kill. Check out some of those archive work workshops. Check out Basil's newsletter. You get access to all the newsletters, the archives as well. And uh, check it out, man, Wednesday. And I know Basil, he's actually going to jump on with you this afternoon, 3.15. Talk about a little bit what's going on. Right. Get ready for that workshop. And all you do, folks, you subscribe. Comes, you know, you can subscribe for one month for one twenty-eight, six months for five ninety-five, which is a savings of $173 or 22%. A year for nine ninety-five that saved five forty-one or 35% savings. And they all with 30-day money-back guarantee. That's right. New subscribers, 30-day money-back guarantee. Can't beat it. You get in there, you gain access to right. the archives, the live webinar. Of course, that webinar will be archived, too. If you can't make it for the full 90 minutes, you can go back in there and check it out whenever you'd like. And there's no doubt that we have movement in the marketplace. That's, oh. that's for sure. I would So let's go take a look at the... So. Uh, I'm sure the VIX has already got crushed. Yeah. But let's go take cool. a look at that. Yeah, so you're down. You're, you're at 15.86. I was actually surprised by the VIX's action this morning in terms of not going lower. I mean, you look at, you know, where the market is right now, right? Yeah. We're almost at highs. Well, the low of the VIX this morning was actually 1533. Right. And what are we doing at 50 cents above that level when right. the Dow is almost up uh, 300 points right now? Right. Uh, well, what, what, you, what you do have, there's no doubt, is that you got uh, the TAF's supposed to go on Monday morning. You know, yeah. uh, the president's going to be back in this afternoon at 430. You can expect a couple tweets. I hope I get, we get the tweets before the market closes. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so there is the VIX, and, and that's not really um, in... It doesn't jive as you, much as it usually does with the market in terms of, you know, you don't see this falling off as no, the market they, has taken off. Now, they, you did see a spike, you know, right at the news, basically, of 1533. Um, but... The market's gone up a lot since then. Yes. Um, but the market, the VIX is saying, yeah, we're the, still going to price in a little premium yes. for, some, for some volatility right. here. Right, right. Because yeah. the volatility is, is no doubt out here. Yeah. Uh, that's the way, you know, you're looking at. If we go take a look at the uh, the gold bugs index, you're going to see that this is just making its way, you know, up to this uh, swing area, the uh, 8, well, uh, 180, you're at 171.25. Now, what we're going to have this week, folks, inside the 
XAU, the HUI, the GDX, all of the above. On these weeklies, you're going to have some really nice volume. Uh, and the, the bar is pretty extraordinary already. This is not, you know, this is not taken into account even today. So you got 100 million, and you're going into, uh, well, you're going to 147 million. So we still need more volume. Yeah. Uh, the high out here is uh, 200 million. Interesting. Yeah, we're going to need more volume. And we're at 109. That's in the HUI. Uh, the XAU. Okay, that's a 7513. That's looking for that $80 mark. Put this on the weekly. It's a decisive break of the downtrend, no doubt about that. I would say so. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> quite a quite a couple weeks. 163 weeks. million. Okay, so this is a better deal. Going to 174. So so this will have the volume on the weekly versus the uh gold bugs index. The high we're going into is a two thirteen. Still gonna need a lot more volume as we approach that swing high. Uh, GDX, that's almost up there right now. This is pretty cool looking at this. So the GDX, so far 229, now that has the volume, interesting, yep. okay. That's going into 236 and we get all day. So that's, that's, a, that's a good sign, man. That's a good sign, we go into 248. Uh, the GDX is saying that we're going to get it. Let's see what we did yesterday. 48 million. Yeah, that's that's a good that's a good situation. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and silver finally uh, caught a move. You know, so the silver. You know, bottom line. Market's looks, not stopping. Right? I know, man. Keep going. Three ten in the down. Three ten. Keep going. Yeah, let me see these cues, man. I want them to hit a swing. Let's, so we get the cues right now. What is that gap? That gap is uh, 182.88. Okay. Well, close, man. Yeah. Give it, give it five minutes. We got 13 minutes left in the show. Good. <laughs> yeah. Good. Let's see. Yep. Stretch, stretch, stretch. This oh, is, this, not is a stopping. this is a perfect Friday uh, trading in the summer. Oh, look at this. This is this is this is really good news. We get the tigresses and tigers shotting the gold market. That's perfect. So let's take a look. So the GLD uh, 127.07. The swing point's 127.21. Now that's what we hit today. You need eight million shares, and we're going to get eight million shares easy. Oh boy, this is going to be. That's good. so we're coming to that swing with volume. We do this on a weekly, what's that, 30, 38, 32, 30 million. And you get to come to 38. This is going to blow away that swing point. Nope. I, 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 I know that one of the targets is just playing the retracement, but this is what you want to wrap your head around slightly here. You come into the swing point with 38 million. We're not even done today. And the swing point has 38 million so this thing is going to basically this is pushing into the swing with volume you love it friday in the gold market can be highly volatile especially on jobs day yeah on farm payroll throw yeah. that into the mix for sure totally and then you got the uh, well here the gold contract itself is what you can expect here coming into the close folks what's going to happen here is that the the pit closes i believe at 1 30. And I believe you're right. So what you're going to have here, people have to make their decision on these tariffs before 1.30. And no one's going to know, you know, for sure what's going to happen. Um, but when you get an expansion like this, I would say that the reality is, is that you're going to have a run up into the close versus the sell off. And the high that we're going after right now is that... Uh, 1361. Okay. You see this intraday. Okay, so we don't have an ABC up intraday because we just took out the B, but you can see that that's the big bar. That was at 1349. Yeah, and that is the 830 bar on the, yeah. on the dot. Yeah, it's pushing though. This thing's pushing, you know. <laughs> you gotta love markets, man. And look at this is not stopping, there's no doubt. Um, stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are going to be coming right back. Don't forget, I'm at Mr. Basil Chapman uh, next Wednesday, uh, June 12th. Right. Pretty wild. Yeah, Wednesday. It's going to be a great it. workshop, folks. All you have to do, go over, test drive his newsletter. It gets you great newsletter for the month. 
get you into the uh, workshop and you can see we got a market that uh, basically could trade both ways. Dow Industrial is up 303, NASDAQ up 129, S&P's up 34, coming right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Basil Chapman has a special subscriber webinar coming up Wednesday, June 12th at 5 p.m. called The Tide. In this webinar, Basil will be demonstrating techniques that can help one identify whether the tide is coming in or going out. That is, whether a trend is bullish or bearish in a variety of time frames. And Basil will be speaking specifically to indices, currencies, commodities, interest rates, and key stocks. The technical tools that Basil will be discussing are available on almost all software packages that will be shown in historical context as well as live for current market setups. Identifying the key trend allows one to trade with the tide rather than against it. Subscribers also gain immediate access to three archived workshops so you can get started right away when you sign up. For all the details on the opening call and Basil's upcoming subscriber webinar, The Tide, this coming Wednesday, visit the front page of TFNN.com and sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. <laughs> On deck, it's buying, buying, buying. That's what it looks like. Dow's up 319, Nasdaq's up 130, SPs are up 35. Percentage wise, out here, you get the Dow Industrials up 1.7, Nasdaq, um, oh, Nasdaq up 1.7, yeah. Dow up 1.2, SPs up 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, big numbers, man. Definitely. No, no two ways about it. We across take the a, board. Yeah, across the board. You take a look at the spy, you spy, you get 23 million shares traded. We did uh, 69 million yesterday. Uh, so you're going to have volume there. You know, you, you're coming into this uh, swing point. The swing up there is what two? We're going to get it, man. Two eighty nine twenty one. <laughs> oh my! Watch God. out. Yeah, seriously. Uh, we take a look at the uh, Qs. Straight line move. One eighty one oh nine. And yeah, see the volume's dying behind the Qs. I like I like the Qs on the short side. Okay. So that's where my head's going to go. It's be interesting watching this shake out. So we'll see where the whole rest of this shakes out. Uh, but, I, I, you know, they're forcing the hand here. There's no, there's no doubt about that. Beyond BYND. Let me see what this thing is doing. 
because that is putting some uh, look oh, at this. Not right. stopping. Exactly, man. I think oh. we're at 127 when we pulled it up briefly prior. Yeah. 131. Yeah. Right. High is 135.80. Maybe yeah. it'll get back there. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, you can see that was the spike high, but you can see, look at that right there. Totally. Last, last 10 minute, man. It wants, it wants to go up there. And Remarkable. the way this market is rolling, uh, you know, we'll see those shots, uh, how they get their hands forced. I wonder what that number is going to be when, you know, next week, as in when it recalibrates. I I'd know. be interested to see if they hold. I mean, hey, those Tesla shorts held out forever when it they went did. to the moon. They so did. somehow those shorts, they, they stay in the game somehow they sometimes. Did. Stay right there, folks. we got Fast Market coming up next. we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. Be like this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! We'll get him, folks.